Hello, happy seeing you again. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make WooCommerce settings and display them on the product page. Let's get straight to practice. Make sure your WooCommerce plugin is active first. We're back again to IWP.DevTools. Go to the third-party APIs menu, then click WooCommerce Settings. Then press the Add New WooCommerce Settings button. Next, we fill in the form provided. Here we, go. we write the name of the setting, for example, contact us. Next, the label will appear in the form section. The description must also be filled in as this will appear in the settings to be created. Then the settings tab, this means where the settings will be placed on what tab. We select general to make it easy to find. Then, we save by clicking the save changes button. Let's, let's see the results. Activate the plugin we recently created. Let's check, have the WooCommerce settings been made? The settings we made earlier are on the general tab. For example, we move it to the products tab. Next, how do we add options to the settings? Let's try it. For example, we'll add an email option. Invincible. Let's see the results. For example, we add another option for phone numbers. Next, how do I retrieve the value from this setting? The method is very easy. You just need to use the get underscore option function like the one in this box. We will try to display it on the product content page. We go to the Appearance menu and select Content, then Add New Content. For the Apply to option, Product WooCommerce should be selected. Let's 
first fill in the WooCommerce setting in WordPress. Let's go to the product page to see the progress of our code. The content condition is still empty because we haven't written the code yet. Before we write the content, we must first move to custom code in order to be able to edit the code page. We just use this code for the initial test. We'll see the results. For example, we replace the word hello word with an email from WooCommerce settings. 